The St. Catharines Museum and Welland Canal Centre is paying tribute to Carousel Players' 50 years of theatre you never outgrow by displaying two new exhibits in their main lobby. The display here at the museum is in two parts. One part sort of looks at the history of the artistic leadership of the company. So it has photos of all the artistic directors, all six of us. Also, on the sides of that display case, you'll see hundreds of names anyway. And those names represent all the people who've worked for Carousel Players in any capacity over the last 50 years. So it's a nice record of all the, all the folks who've worked with us. And then there are some other small um, images from shows, some of our awards that we've won for some of our performances uh, and so it's kind of an overview of the last 50 years of the company. And then the other display focuses on our arts education programming, so looking at some of the, the courses that we've offered over the years, the drama programs, our summer theater school, that sort of thing, and how we help kids to express themselves artistically. Uh, so that's a big part of our work. Since 1972, Carousel Players has performed over 200 productions for over 2.8 million audience members worldwide. To celebrate these accomplishments, they'll be hosting a 50th anniversary festival across Niagara this Easter weekend, with many events taking place at the Performing Arts Centre in downtown St. Catharines. We will have performances of our two touring shows, The Velveteen Rabbit and Pop Pop at the Performing Arts Center. Uh, we'll also have some screenings of our digital work. So over the last two years, when we haven't been able to meet audiences in person, we've created three digital pieces. So we'll be screening those at the Performing Arts Center in the Film House. And then uh, just outside of the Performing Arts Center, we'll have an outdoor installation performance that you can be part of. It's a participatory event uh, called Sidewalk Stories and that takes you from the Performing Arts Centre to Silver Spire. So it's sort of a, you, uh, an experience where you embody different creatures on this pathway with your kids. Uh, and then at Silver Spire we'll have Creation Station which is a place where families can come just drop in and make puppets, make masks with their kids. Uh, that is free as is Sidewalk Stories. And then also at Silver Spire we'll have one more installation called Spring Fling. It's like a giant indoor garden treasure hunt where you and your kids can search for treasure inside the giant garden that we've built. And then we're ending the weekend on Monday and we'll be in West Lincoln. We'll have performances of both shows that day. We'll have yoga for kids. We'll have face painting. It's kind of like our community picnic birthday party finale to the weekend. So, um, oh, one more thing I forgot. Near Silver Spire in the parking lot just behind, we have a market. So it's a family market. We have uh, vendors who are going to be setting up. I think we have 30 some vendors specifically um, bringing things for families and for kids. So we hope you also check that out. Just in time for the festival, Monica and her team are proud to release Carousel Players' 50th anniversary book, To the Moon and Back. We were able to find photos of the early years of the company. We got anecdotes from people who've worked for the company over the years. And so it's this beautiful kind of uh, yearbook almost of uh, the Carousel Players and the last half century of work. Uh, beautiful images, quotes, anecdotes, and um, just a great little memento, I think. To find out more information about the 50th anniversary festival and to purchase festival passes, visit carouselplayers.com. In St. Catharines, I'm Mark Wickerbredo, reporting for The Source.